So right now your private data is not safe anymore. Companies like Facebook and Google completely using it for their own advantage. So in this video I will show you top 5 base private and secure mobile OS that you can install in your phone and become completely secure on internet. So if you want to install them in your phone, make sure you watch this video till end. So let's get started. So guys, this is E, the world's most secure Android drone, which respects your privacy. It is de-googled, means there is no Google Apps, and of course, is open source. So what is this E? E is Android room developed by E Foundation. It's a dedicated privacy room, and it's open source. It means you can trust it. This room has its own cloud services. So when you first boot your phone, this is how the E Android room looks. It's simple, there is no app drawer, and it kinda look like iOS. You can swipe down and search thing, just like iOS, there is blur effect, and there is no app drawer. The launcher is quite simple, it doesn't have any feature. The camera is open camera, which can be found on Play Store. So, camera is normal too. If you want, you can install Gcam. And unlike other Android rooms, this room doesn't provide many features. There is only few status bar customization and few gesture customization and that's it. So if you are the kind of guy who like to stay private and don't want to share their personal data with any company or government, then this OS is for you. Even if you install any other custom ROM, normally companies take 12 MB of your data without your consent every day. So this private OS E is created by E Foundation. And not only you can download it and install it in many Android phones, if you are not that tech savvy, you can go to their website and buy these Android ROM install phones. But of course, if you don't want to spend money, you can just download this ROM and install in your phone. Now let's talk about the OS. You get all the basic apps in the phone, but as I said, this is completely de-googled OS. It means there is no Google apps in the phone, not even a Play Store. So instead of Google Play Store, they have created their own app store, just like Android. So you get plenty of apps, which you normally get in Android. So you might be wondering, can this phone run Google Apps without Google Play services? Well, of course it can. There is a tweak they have done in this OS. It's called Micro G Settings. It pretends to be Google Play services when you install any Google Apps. So when you install YouTube or Gmail, it will work perfectly in this OS. Even though I won't recommend Google Apps installing in the world's most private OS, because once you install Google, your privacy is gone. So all the apps here in this app store is verified via hash, so it's safe from malware. So how privacy works in this OS? All the apps are disconnected from each other. No apps can access other apps' private data. For example, notes can't access the photos from gallery. Camera can't access email. Now, because of this, you might face inconvenience while using this OS. But for privacy, that's the cost you pay. The biggest problem I face in this room is that the latest version is based on Android Oreo. You also get inbuilt OTA system. It means you can update your phone easily. So this room only takes 9 GB in your internal storage. Even though there are multiple apps open in the background, still I have 1 GB left in the RAM. So with this room, you can understand that how much of your battery life and your RAM is eaten by Google Play services. So if you ask my personal opinion, this room is quite similar to Ubuntu Touch when it comes to privacy, but it is highly inspired from Lineage OS. Now this mobile OS is created only for privacy and there is a huge team behind that and it's available for almost all the Android phones. All the new phones will definitely work with this OS. How to download and install, I will drop all the info in description. The next mobile OS is this Flyme OS. Now Flyme OS is Meizu's exclusive software which you can now install on many Android phones. Even though it looks like Android, but still, the privacy on this room is top notch. FlyMeOS gives you features of next level. The theme engine is really strong, the colors are vibrant, and you can completely change the user interface of your phone. It might look like Xiaomi's MIUI, but it's way ahead in performance. If you are a fan of PUBG, then try playing PUBG on FlyMeOS. On the FlyMeOS, your phone doesn't overheat for hours of playtime. 
And the amazing thing is you can easily install Google Play Store. So even if you install Flyme OS, you can still use your favorite apps from Play Store. I recently made a step by step video how to install Flyme OS on your phone. And as always, that video will be down below. So the next private OS is self OS. Now this is not based on Android. This is completely new world. And the focus here is security and privacy. And because there is no Google Apps and no third party junk apps, your privacy is guaranteed. The user interface is completely different and it's open source so you can trust that. Selfish OS is highly independent but because they want to reach to masses, now they have included the support for Google Apps. So just because Selfish OS now support Google Apps, it doesn't mean you should install them. Because as I said before, once you install Google Apps in private OS, your privacy is gone. I personally like the software experience in Selfish OS and the battery life is almost double because there is no background app that's eating your battery life. So Graphene OS in my opinion is one of the most secure mobile OS out there. It's open source and anyone can install that in their phone because GSI means generic system image is available for almost all the Android phones. So installing this OS on your mobile phone is really easy. So basically Graphene OS is EOSP Android ROM without Google Apps. So first of all, what is EOSP? Android is open source. So Google put their source code on internet so people can use that in hope that people will eventually install Google Apps and they can make money from them. But what if you just take EOSP and don't use Google Apps and use alternatives? So on this amazing idea, the Graphene OS is created. So how Graphene OS is more secure than your stock Android or any other Android custom room out there? Well, the first thing is Graphene OS code is designed for privacy. And unlike other rooms, Graphene OS allows you to lock your bootloader after you install Graphene OS so you can have secure boot and Graphene OS in your mobile. Unlike your normal mobile OS, Graphene OS has some security layers. And that comes with hardened memory allocator, a strict application sandbox, and many other security tools that comes with Graphene OS. So last but definitely not the least, we have Kali Nate Hunter, one of the world's most advanced hacking OS. Now you can use this OS in PC as well as in mobile. Now Kali Nate Hunter is used for wireless injection, keyboard attacks and now because of magic it can be installed on almost any Android phone in the world. So first of all what is this Kali Nate Hunter actually is? Kali Nate Hunter is tool used by hackers. Now this tool gives you some hacking apps that includes Kali full integration in your phone, Kali CH root, Termux and many more. You can use these tools to your own advantage. There is a popular TV show called Mr. Robot. In that show the guy used similar kind of tool in his phone to basically hack anything. So apart from ethical hacking, you can use Kali Nate Hunter for your own privacy. It is one of the most popular secure OS for your mobile and PC. So download links and installation of all the mobile OS I talked in this video will be in description. But before you go there, make sure you like this video and I will see you tomorrow.